There's been a lot of news and discussion on tariffs and potential inflation. So I've been asked by many, what do I think the impacts of these will be on the home industry? And while I don't have hard data yet to show the definitive answer, I do have some food for thought on how to think about it. Tough economic times, inflation, or rising prices doesn't necessarily spell doom for the home industry. One of the changes we make as consumers to save money is we eat more at home, which can create growth opportunities for the home industry. Government data states that consumers spend more money on food away from home versus what is eaten at home. The mistaken assumption made by many is that means we eat out more than we eat in home. This is not true. We eat more meals at home than we do away from home. We forget that the cost of a meal away from home is three to four times more expensive than the cost to eat a meal at home. This is important because we've seen that since 1945, we refuse to let the cost of food outpace our incomes. So we look for ways to reduce prices. We reduce the number of items at the meal. So fewer side dishes or desserts. We make less complicated foods, which uses fewer ingredients. But the primary adjustment is that we eat out less and eat at home more. Whether it was the economic challenges of the early 90s, the early 2000s, or 2008 and 9, we always see a movement towards eating and spending time in the home. So what does this mean for us in the home industry? We need to be concerned about rising prices, especially if they're faster than our incomes, but that doesn't mean there needs to be panic. Instead, we need to be more aggressive in our innovation efforts. We need to ramp up our focus and make it easier for consumers to plan, prepare, cook, eat, and clean up all the meals throughout the day. We need to make eating at home much more attractive option. We also need to innovate our thinking around the marketing, messaging, and reminding consumers that investments in our products can help them reduce their overall food and general living expenditures.